Hello everyone, welcome back to at least one more Wingspan video. I thought I would try out the online multiplayer. I uh, I started recording not on the main screen, but um, not, not on the main menu, but uh, here, because I sort of expected it would take a while for matchmaking to go off, but it just like instantly dropped me into a game that allegedly has three players, including me. I'm the blue one here. So I guess I'm player two? I don't understand why I'm on the right, but this guy's the first one to act. I don't know, who are these people? Can I like find out who they are? Okay, this person already picked something before I even joined the game, which is a little weird. Okay, I mean, it matched, so, all right. Um, I'm not planning to like cut out decisions in between turns. It could be kind of a long video. All right, we have a Loretta and A-Bomb Esquire. Okay, so we care about, it's five minutes per turn. So it, it, as I said, it could take a while, but I, I need to like make some decisions here. Okay, I don't know, there's nothing like thematic going on over there. What do I have in my, in this stuff? Small birds or only river birds? Do I have much of that stuff? Small is how much? 30. Um, I don't have any only river birds at the moment. No, I do, I have one. But three is just so many. I think we could go for like small birds and grab this guy. How many of them do you need? Four? God. These are both hard. Um, and I kind of want... Oh, <laughs> I don't know. This this is the right kind of nest. By the way, where's the timer? There it is. No? I have no idea where the turn timer is. Um... Maybe take a new bonus card, and this guy, and the food for him, and my only small bird. Did I keep small birds? I did. Okay. This is an enormous bird, by the way. Wow, 277 centimeters. Okay, let's go with that and get... I want, I want to play this guy, right? Just because he's the right egg nest type. All right. I mean, I might as well watch what this guy's up to. So I think like the ideal thing I should really do is like cut out, um, while other players are thinking because it could be up to five minutes. I don't know, this video might be like three hours long. I don't know how long it takes to do an, a synchronous game of Wingspan. You can play asynchronous with like 24 hour turn limits. That doesn't sound like a good time. Oh, I should have looked at what was in the... Mm, I should have looked at these birds. Okay, this guy actually played a bird in the forest. All right. Okay, it seems good. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, I should have looked at what birds were available to draw. Um, and I guess the best way to see them is this, right? When deciding which of my cards to keep. None of these are small. Two of them are river only. Maybe I should have done that. I don't know. And you drew. You took one of the river-only birds, so that would have been a less exciting decision, but still perhaps reasonable. Um, is there any of these that I really want at the moment? The mallard is like not the end of the world. It would be a nice source of draw, I guess, and it's fairly cheap. But I kind of want to get this guy down. Um, I'm not sure whether the point is to lay eggs on him quickly before anyone else, like, oh yeah, this guy would get eggs for free, which is a nuisance. I was hoping to get it down uh, easily, but... So that only I take uh, a benefit from it. But even if it's only two players, that's worth something. Yeah. Maybe I play the condor first, so that I know what I'm looking for. Yeah, like, why not, right? 
I could play it somewhere else, yeah, because I don't want to have to pay the eggs for it. So let's like put it down here. That way I can put this guy in the grassland and this in the forest. Okay, sure. Well, I don't have any predator power things. Am I going to get four birds with this kind of nest? I mean, there is some encouragement to try for it, but it might be worth zero. Um... This also might be worth zero, but it could be worth... It's, it's a lot easier to make this worth two than it is to make this worth four. And I might very well wind up with two of these. Who knows? Okay, fine. Also, by the way, there is... Um, there's another bird here with a, a cavity nest. So I could consider trying to win the end round goal with this guy. Uh, but I don't really have two worms or any way to get two worms very quickly. You gain food. It's uh, yeah, okay, everyone's playing pretty quickly. That's nice. I'm probably the slow one here being a new player, which is not a surprise. And you must have discarded uh, a card to get food, I believe. Yeah, because there's two things gone, and that was the first time anybody gained food. You gained food, indeed, and you drew birds. Oh, what, what new birds are there? Hey, I kind of like this guy. He's super cheap, and he's tiny. Hmm. I don't have any eggs, but I would like... I don't have any eggs to, like, draw more cards, but I do kind of like this guy. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Let's just pick this guy up. I can't. Well, oh yeah, where would I put him? That's a good question. Because he can go anywhere. I can get an egg by playing this guy and then activating him, which is, I assume, how I want to get my first egg. And then I guess one of these goes in grassland and the other goes in forest? Probably I'd rather have this guy in forest and this guy in grassland. Okay, you gain food. This guy played a uh, house finch, whatever that is. Okay, it's a it's a tucking thing. So we're gonna put this guy in the forest. Also, by the way, is it a cavity bird? Like, doesn't super matter. No. Good. This one's me. There we go. Now... This guy doesn't have a lot of food right now, so this is kind of the ch my chance to pounce on activating this to make sure I only give one other player a free egg. It's like not amazing, but I want the food anyway. Boy, everyone's playing fast. I love it. You laid eggs, and you gained food. Okay, nobody doing anything they're especially good at yet. So I'm going to gain food, and I could spend a card, but I like all these cards. 
Also, the guy who gained eggs is the one I'm now giving an egg to, so he's not as excited about it as he would have been. Now, do I want a berry? No. I want something else. Probably. I want a seed, I guess. Sure. Yes, we will activate this. Egg goes here. I can't put two on because I don't have two different birds that qualify, sadly. So I only get one. But still, giving me an egg and one other player an egg is better than giving nobody an egg, especially since I want that egg pretty soon, and the other guy probably doesn't want it that badly. I muted myself to sneeze and I forgot to unmute. This guy has now two birds in the forest. Okay. Oh no, and they're both... Okay, he got a second cavity bird down uh, just after, I believe. I, um, yeah. Just after I gave him the ability to put another egg on it. Although, I don't know, he put one here. So this guy's looking like he's going to win the end of round goal. He'll have two... Uh, at least, probably. I hope to have... I expect to have only one. <laughs> Maybe none, actually? I have four turns. What am I doing with those four turns? Okay, you gained food. There's just a bunch of fish and a seed in there. So, I could play this guy. Put him in Eggville. and then activate him. Maybe what I actually should do is, I, I kind of wanted this guy in forest. Ugh. Ah! God, I hate this. I kind of wanted this guy in forest and this guy in food, but this is the one I can play now, and what I want now is more food, so I think I'll do it that way. I'm curious how it knew I wanted to play it there. I'm a little confused about this this UI. Let's just go back to this. Okay, choose where to play it. Forest. Hello? Okay, let's just leave this menu. It's very confusing. Here we go. Play this guy. Pay for him. Spend this egg. Yes. I've played a number of games against the AI, and like, who can really say how important a game against the AI is? Like, my, my first game, which was on camera, I did win, and then like, the next four or five games, I lost, or mm, I think I had one tie. <clears throat> and then since then, I've won every game, I think. <clears throat> um, and... Something that seems important, which I did not even realize when I was playing my first on-camera games, is that, like, eggs are worth points. Um, I was like, why on earth would you ever need so many egg slots on cards? You, you don't need that many eggs to lay to, to hatch birds. <clears throat> and the answer is because they're each worth a point. I'm sure they said that in... Actually, I'm not even sure they said that in tu the tutorial, but it's true. Um, and a thing that I've done in a lot of my late game is just like, you know, spam eggs in the last three or four turns and fill up my whole board with eggs. Uh, it's certainly not the only way to win, but it's sort of an obvious default way if you can't build an engine that does anything else cooler. If you can just stack up a few useful activation effects in the uh, grassland. What did this guy do, by the way? Two birds. Okay. Oh, so what birds are available? You drew birds, yes. You also drew birds. Well, we better look at the birds. Um, here's a predator bird. Needs mice, which is a little tough. Rodents, of course, actually. <laughs> but I would like it. 
it's worth like kind of a lot of points for me. Eight, right, because of this. There's no mice at the moment, but I could make other players gain stuff from the bird feeder and then uh, before taking my own food. Yeah, let's do that. I wish it would like show me what birds I know they have in hand, like if they drew any of these face up birds. It's really, it seems hard to come up with four small birds let alone six. But I mean, my experience with these is getting getting the like the large goal is really unusual. What did you do? You gained food. Okay. Oh, I do uh yeah, that's true. I um you laid eggs. I still have to take two food before letting someone else, uh, before activating this ability. So I can't, like, have my pick of an entire litter of all this stuff. Okay, this guy still has no cavity nesting birds. That's nice. This guy has two, you know, I don't like to give him eggs, but I don't have a ton of choice. And I do like to give myself eggs, and I don't hate to give him another. So we play this. And we take a seed and I guess a berry? I don't know. And yes, everyone will gain one, starting with me. Because I want to re-roll this and then have a pick of all five. Yes, that is a legal thing I can do. And give me a worm. I probably should take this one. Just so they have fewer options, I don't know. I was hoping, obviously, for some mice. I know they're invertebrates and rodents, but like, it's clearly a mouse. I don't know, it could be a rat, who knows. But it's just like fewer uh, syllables. What did you take? I don't know, it won't tell me. I think it was uh, one of the worms, right? Yeah. Yes, everybody may do this. I'll do this one, it being the only choice I have. Which food did this other guy take? The seed. Okay. So I have this available. It's a small bird. And it's, um, it's, um, a payoff for a draw engine, sort of, which I don't have and probably never will. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a problem with that, I guess. <laughs> Oh, this is Lozetta, not Loretta. I read it wrong at the beginning. So we look like second here, probably. This guy's up to three, really. 
played only three played all three birds with with only cavity nests that's pretty cool ah yeah you just played the other one got it I'm kind of sad about my hawk. I feel like it's going to take forever till I get to play him. I might end up not wanting to. Yes, I know. Who's next? You played this blackbird down here. Okay, this guy is going for serious draw. Oh, you must have played both of these in a single turn? Yeah. So why didn't it tell me that? Okay, whatever. So now, do we play this? Probably, right? And we don't play it here. That would cost me the egg, which would cost me a point. Not amazing, but still, I'd rather not. Uh, just one second. Should I be drawing something? Is there a card I really, really want here? Not especially. This might be kind of cool, but it's way too expensive. Yeah. It's just like it has the right nest type for the upcoming, you know, whatever. Okay, so we'll just uh, plop this down here. No. Like that. Alright, I mean, I got a point. Alright, what's new in the river? Well, a very tiny bird that wants to be comboed with other birds. That's kind of nice. I would probably be happy to um, spend an egg to draw a random card and this. Bird feeder still doesn't have any mice in it. Which isn't to say I would never get any, right? In principle, like, I could maybe get one because I have this ability, right? But I don't want one, I want two. So I want to wait until there's a mouse there and then try to do something fancy to get another, hopefully. Also, like, drawing a second card is useful just because I have this tuck source for it in the worst case, right? I can turn an egg into a card, and I can turn a card into two points. No, a point and a food. Okay, what did, what did you do? You played this bird in the prairie. Okay, fine. Ooh, that guy has... That's a ton of eggs! He's got, like, an insane cavity nest synergy going. I only noticed that just now. Huh. This guy's got some... Alright, everyone else is doing specific things, and I'm just doing, like, I don't know, stuff? I don't have any theme tying any of my stuff together, sadly. I feel like I haven't really missed any chances to... I just, like, haven't had any chances to. So, I think we want to draw a random card and probably House Wren. Yep, still want the House Wren. Uh huh. There we go. And by the way, finally, another cavity bird. So that's pretty cool. I just need enough food. Sadly, these two have mutually exclusive habitats, so even if I could find two fish and a worm. Okay, there's a mouse now. Oof, stuff is disappearing quickly. I might be able to come up with two mice. Because this guy just took food. What did he take, by the way? It was like a berry and a... Another seed, maybe? I don't remember. Maybe it was a worm? Okay, 
you gained food, I know. You played another bird in the forest. Oh no, your first bird in the forest. Okay, fine. Now, I could gain a mouse, and then re-roll, and then gain another thing. That would be pretty cool. And then, if, if, I, if I turn up a mouse and a worm, I'm, like, super happy. Downside, I don't have the eggs to play both of these yet. So I would need to generate eggs here anyway. So I would need two, right? But now's my chance to pounce on some food, hopefully. So mouse, re-roll. No mice, but I get a worm at least. And then I can let the other players pick first, and if they take these two, I could re-roll and uh, get another shot at a mouse. I do want the worm. Yeah, okay. Yes, all players gain food, starting with you. Please re-roll for me. Please allow me to re-roll, I should say. They probably won't, but there's nothing here I particularly want more than anything else. I guess I wouldn't mind a fish. Boy, my forest is very interactive, huh? It makes other players gain food, it makes them gain eggs. Hey, he took a worm. All I need is this guy to take a fish. And he loves fish, by the way. This is dang river buildup. So it could happen. River fish tend to be the ones that eat birds. Did it happen? It didn't happen. All right, well, give me the fish, I guess. Yes, this one. And I think that's still the only one I can do, right? Yep. This game doesn't seem to be going very well for me. But, you know, I'm a, a new and bad player, so not only is it excusable, I might also be wrong. Maybe it's going totally fine, and I just can't tell. And by the way, like I can actually play the house wren and this guy if I wanted to. Um, I need eggs, but uh, I have I, I could spend a mouse and like a berry and a worm as a mouse to play this guy. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not. This guy took a ton of food. Oh my gosh, look at all these mice. I should probably just gain food again, right? The number of eggs that I need is two, and I have one. I could get another. And I would love more food, including mice. I guess. Maybe that's like what I'm doing, is trying to play large number of point birds, maybe? Except I have like this. <laughs> Saying that I want small birds. But I don't know if necessarily like birds with small wingspans are also small number of points. They probably mostly are. Here's a bird I wouldn't mind drawing, by the way. I just don't want to draw at the moment. It's a small bird. Oh, there it goes. What did this guy do? He took food, right? Yeah. I think I just gained food again. 
take the mouse and then reroll for fish. Before I do that, before I commit to that, let's look at this. Yeah. Fish are still pretty good. You, none of these are compelling to me as reasons to do something other than try to get this going. Not like this is amazing, but it's like a bird. Oh my god, it's gigantic. 274. Um, yeah, just give me give me more of this stuff. No fish. But I think I want the worm. And I could let other players go first. I don't really care which of these I get, to be honest. So, sure. We'll let this guy go first again. Just in case they allow me a reroll and I can aim for fish. Whatever. Seems unlikely. But it's not going to hurt to do it this way, I think. By the way, okay, this guy still has space for, but like, I'm kind of, in a way, counterfeiting this thing for him because I'm giving him more egg, eggs in these nests. He might have trouble using both values. That's something. And this guy, I believe, still has, no, he, he finally did get one, one thing down. All right, you didn't give me what I wanted. That's fine. I'll take seed. It's flexible. I already have berries. Sure. Yep. I'll put my egg there. So now everyone is, is getting benefits from this. Um, oh well, you know. I wish I could like play this house rent, and soon I will, and then I can get more benefit than everybody else does. But for now, it's giving everyone equal benefit, and it happens to be like doing something I actually need at the moment. I.e., like it's also gaining me food and an egg, so. You know, even though it's neutral on value, I don't mind doing it because it's a thing I need at the moment. And then I think I'll probably gain eggs once I have these two down in my in my grassland. Maybe I should draw first? Not sure. You drew birds, and you played a bird in the forest. Okay, fine. What birds are available now? None of them that I'm in love with. I do like these things that move back and forth between habitats, but I can't easily play one right now or draw it for that matter. So none of these are that exciting to me, I think. Anyway, let's finally play the house wren here. Yes. Paying this egg. And also play this. Paying this egg again. Okay. So furthermore, I also now have um, some eggs of this type and can compete for... I have a bird of this type, I should say, and can uh, compete perhaps for that end of round goal, which nobody else at the moment has... Oh, you do. You do. You're not excited to lay eggs, and you're not as good at it as I am, and you only have space for two, so I can probably take first on that goal. You played a bird in your wetland. Okay, it's a star bird, so you actually can compete on this now. And you? You played another bird down here. Good heavens. This guy has a good little tucking engine going here. All right. Um, 
I don't have enough eggs to play this guy, even if I wanted to. And now is a great time to be laying eggs for a couple of reasons. One, I need eggs. Um, two, the bird feeder is almost empty, which as empty as it ever is, which maximizes the chances of this guy going off. I'm a little sad to put this this um, pelican away, but I'm not like married to the pelican anyway. I was just like taking a fish in case playing him ended up being a good idea, and I think it's not at the moment a good idea. Oh, I only have space for two uh, on this kind also. Okay, we all only have space for two eggs uh, of this kind, which is too bad. So maybe I should be drawing first? I don't think I want any of these that badly, right? I could take this guy? But I couldn't, like, take him and play him and put eggs on him, so... Never mind. I only have... Well, I could. No, because it cost me an egg to play him. And I don't have any right now. So I have to take eggs once, pick him up, play him, take eggs again. So that's never gonna happen. So let's just forget that guy. Put eggs here, and, uh... I guess put the other one in grassland for this last bonus here. Here. Yeah. And I'm not going to spend a food for more eggs, I don't think. Yay, I got a point. And I'll tuck this. I'm not married to this card. Give me a point and a food. I'm happy enough with that. Next round, we'll try to draw. Um, birds that we can use our giant pile of food on. Uh, specifically, like expensive birds, but also small ones. Small, expensive birds, ideally. With predator powers. I don't think I'm asking too much. <laughs> Actually, I'm already up to three. That's surprising. When did that happen? I've got this guy and this guy, I guess, and one up here, right? Yeah, okay. So we should be able to get at least three points out of this without even trying very hard. What did you do? You drew birds. Oh, there might be new birds available. Well, there is. This guy's new, right? I don't think anybody else is hunting at the moment. Or predating, predatoring. Yeah, so that wouldn't do much. It might help the other players, so I could maybe like hate draft it or something, but that seems like a bad idea. He's just drawing birds. No, he's not the one with the draw engine. Okay. He's like, I don't remember what this guy's up to. He just has a ton of everything. No, he has, like, none of anything. What's his deal? Very weird. This guy has a draw engine and a half. And also, like... Hang on. An okay forest, I guess? You've drawn birds. You've drawn birds. Okay, well, I, I wouldn't mind some birds. Um, this is actually pretty cool and easy for me to play at the moment. I'll take this bird. Um, should I pay an egg to draw more birds? I probably should, right? I'm reasonably okay at gaining more eggs. And I have a fair amount of food, and this is about to give me more. So let's draw from the deck. I don't think I want either of these. Maybe I do. Maybe I just want both of these two. I don't super need another forest bird, but I had the food available to pay for it. Obviously, I'm not like playing it at the moment because I don't want to spend my eggs to ruin my end of round goal. But I think these two are 
better than like th this is better than a random bird I guess is what I'm saying so yeah let's let's spend this egg and take these two I'll play this one at the beginning of the next round probably I don't know what I'm doing with the end of my round. I might just gain food. I kind of have a lot of food already. I might draw again. Eggs? Do I need eggs? It might actually be a good time for eggs because it's still, the bird feeder is still quite empty. Which activates this. I don't really want to tuck anything, but I could tuck this guy, I guess. And I will want the eggs Soonish. I'm planning to spend several on this guy. All of them. And it's something to do before the round ends. What did you do? You played a bird in the wetlands. Oh no! Now he has space for more than two eggs in that kind of nest. Or wait, do you actually have any? Okay, yeah, you're last. Okay. So you have finished. And actually chose not to put any birds in that thing. Okay. So we're getting at least second here. The problem is, I assume this guy is going to lay eggs. And he will happily, I assume, can I, can I tell how much food he has? Oh, that's so weird. He just happens to have exactly the same distribution of food that I do. Okay. Anyway, he will happily lay a third egg to get um, three into this area and, and pass me. It's kind of a nuisance. So, all right, given that, what exactly do I do? I think this is still fine. And tucking this is still fine. Is there anything I might want to draw before it goes away? Not really. Well, this goose. I'm going to have a lot of seeds after playing this guy, right? So that's a possibility. I could play him here. Well, that would that I would be stacked on this, which is sort of fine. That's an end game goal. I don't... Yeah, and he just wants seeds? I think I'll take him. Sure. I gotta say, in like three player against humans, these cards are a lot more interesting than they are against AI, because I feel like the AI almost never takes these, whereas with three players, they're always like grabbing stuff that's important to them. Which means stuff that's important to me shows up more often as well. Oh really? He didn't put more eggs in. How did he end up... He really wanted to save on his food? That food was worth three points to him? Okay. Am I crazy? He laid eggs. 
Oh, maybe he misread the goal and thought it was number of birds with eggs on them, not total number of eggs. Well, I'm happy if that's what happened. Okay, I don't just... Hello, why are these both lit up? That, that should be illegal. Anyway, uh, don't really care about any of these. This would be kind of cute, but I'm not going to be doing much in my wetlands, I don't think. So we're playing this guy first. And there go all my eggs. And then I'm going to need to uh, activate this area. And so I hope that there are a small, that the, like someone else takes food so that most of the uh, food is not in the bird feeder. Um, like it would be, it would be great if exactly one other player took food. If they both take food, then like this entire thing is, is full, which stinks for me. True birds. I guess I could consider just gaining food instead. Because that also gives me two eggs, which is the number I need at the moment. But I think there's a bunch of cool stuff I get to do in here, right? Yeah. Like I might get a point and I definitely get a point and a seed. Oh yeah, I have this whole seed engine going once I get the goose down, right? Um, tuck a card to gain a seed, discard a seed, tuck two cards. So I just need to get a little bit of draw. To, uh, to feed a bunch of points from all my eggs. I think I need more than just two eggs, because then I can spend eggs to draw more here, and cards that I draw are worth points. That's why I shouldn't gain food, why I should actually gain eggs the, you know, natural way. How are we on total birds? It's all pretty close. I wish I could see, like, how many, how many publicly visible points everybody else has. That's a thing you could, in principle, see in, a, in an in-person game. You drew birds, yes. You also drew birds. Well, maybe I ought to have a look at the available birds. Thirty or less. There are three of them right now. Hmm. I would like most of these birds, perhaps all, especially this one, actually. It's a lot of points. And it gives me seeds. Um, it would have to go in forest, which is like not my favorite thing in the world, but I have to put it somewhere and I'm about to fill up grasslands anyway. The thing is though, I need my eggs uh, before I can draw, I want to be able to draw two of those cards. So we're gonna lay eggs here. And it doesn't really matter where they go at this point, I don't think. Try to avoid cavity nests, and otherwise it doesn't matter. Does anyone else have cards that make me care? No. Okay. So we'll just plop them all anywhere. Um, here you go. I just want them in the grasslands, ideally. Other than that, I don't really care. Come on, mouse. No mice this time. Um, and we will tuck this.
Canada Goose is also playable in the wetlands, but I definitely want him here. Uh, because that's where I have all my other, like, activator cards. I, I mean, I guess I only have, like, two. <laughs> um, but in particular, I have the one who gives me seeds. So I want to be able to, like, just click this button a lot, hopefully. Uh, but before I do any of that, I do want to grab two of these birds. I guess not this one. Because I don't have any more room in my in my grasslands, so these two would be my my pick. Oh, that would actually get me up to six uh, tiny birds as well, which would be great. It's maybe a little ambitious to get to play all of that. Oh, also, I want to be able to tuck some of them. Some of the cards that I draw. Hmm. All right, you played this. And you're all right. You have a crow, sure. None of these are predators, right? I don't, I don't think it even matters. I don't have cards that care about other people's predators. I thought briefly that I might. Um, so here's my, my my issue. I want to play this guy for two eggs, that's fine. And then activate him, but I also want to have cards to tuck, so I want to draw. And I want to draw these two cards, but I don't want to tuck them, I want to like actually play them. So I think... I think... What I should do is pick both of these guys up and like play them in the forest? and worry about this stuff later. It would cost me three eggs. I currently have four, and I'm paying one to draw them both. And I can afford to play them both as well. And then I can gain food to give me more eggs to play this guy. And or draw. Yeah, so I think that's the idea. So we do this, we pay an egg. I don't know, this one really doesn't matter at all. And we take both of these. Yeah. And I, I want to play all three of these cards, but I then want to switch to like a tucking engine. <laughs> uh which is a little bit awkward. But, well, we'll see. I'm gonna need a lot of seeds as well. This is, I, I, I have enough to play all of these because this guy, as long as I gain seeds once, um, Actually, even if I don't, right? I have a worm and four seeds. Um, but I do want to gain food at least once to give me back some eggs to play this guy with, I think. And also to give me more seeds to feed him. Okay, what did you do? You, you played a bird. The ruddy duck, okay. I'm much more eggy than everyone else. Well, as I said, that's the only like strategy I've been able to execute well, so it's not a huge surprise, I guess. Total birds? Everyone's at seven. And you did what? You drew birds. <laughs> so... I could draw one, but I can't afford to spend any more eggs now, because I want to spend my last two actions on playing these two guys in my forest for three eggs. So if there were anything really exciting here, I would take it, but there is not great. Uh, 
Uh, it doesn't matter what order I play them in at all. Let's play this one first. As long as I'm committed to playing them both, it doesn't matter. Um, and I think I am. Yeah, we take this guy's egg. Red crossbill. These birds use their specialized bills to pry apart conifer seed cones. My first time playing the red crossbill, apparently. I did briefly consider, and maybe should have, uh, turned on the option that makes it always play the sound. Just because, like, I don't know, you learn cool bird facts. Oh gosh, this guy's turn was fast. You laid eggs. What did that entail? Oh yeah, you have that insane cavity nest engine. Look at that. This thing, this thing. It's five eggs plus the two you normally get. That's disgusting. That shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> I guess I'm not more eggy than everyone else, huh? And you played a bird in egg town. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be able to play another? You might. Nothing I can do about that, of course. No, 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 no. We're supposed to play this guy for a worm. Where's my worms at? Oh, it's right there. It's, you don't have to do anything. At least make him fight me for total number of birds, and I want this guy anyway. I'm still not sure of the order, like, what I'm doing with my last few turns. It's kind of complicated, because I want to get this guy down, and I want to have drawn some cards. And I want to have gained... I need to have gained some food, yeah. So I, I do need to do this first. And that only gives me two eggs. I kind of wish I had more than that, so that I could spend some on drawing here. But... Maybe this ability is not the most important thing. Maybe I just don't have enough turns to grind out that kind of value. You gained food. Okay, so green is not in the running for winning this round. And the other guy? Played another bird, so you are in the running and could win if you have something you can play for a single worm. But more likely we will tie, which is fine. I can live with that. Um, what we need now is food. Oh, I guess I do give him more food, which I don't like. I guess I, I, I could choose not to, but that seems foolish. <sighs> yeah, just give me, give me all the seeds you got. It seems ridiculous to be so loaded on seeds. Um, this is giving me some as well. But I, I want to like activate the Canada Goose forever. Yeah, I'll give everyone one from the bird feeder. And you know what? Just me first. I want the seed. I probably don't need seven of them. Um, but I mean, you know, maybe I could just hit egg five times. It seems unlikely.
I wonder if like spending a turn on playing this guy was the wrong idea. But I mean, he was worth like six points to me, right? Two plus one plus three. Yes. I, in principle, like the right thing to do was put one of them here, but I'm about to spend them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Like, I would like to be tucking cards while I'm grinding out my grasslands, but the more important thing is to just press the grasslands button as many times as possible and put put a lot of seeds on this guy. That's why I picked up a bunch of seeds. I have enough that I don't ever actually have to activate um, this. And if I'm gaining four eggs at a time, five times, I actually can fit that many eggs. So I don't have to do anything else in the last round. Just play this goose and hit egg, 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 egg. Yeah, that was the right number of times to say egg. Oh, it's one too many, wasn't it? Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, so I only get hit egg four times. Yeah, that's that's my last round for sure. Play this guy, egg, 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 until you can't egg anymore. I won't be able to activate this ability, which is too bad. But... Pressing egg is worth way more points to me than pressing draw, even if it lets me do this, right? Let's just double check. Egg is worth four, six. Yeah, there's no way I could get like six tucks <laughs> from this ability. Um, but eat the, the extra food that I got from all of this, I can channel it into eggs. Um, right, I have... I need to spend six total uh, gr uh, seeds on this guy, which means out of my nine food, I could spend um, um, three more on turning it into eggs. So I'd be gaining four times four. Four is 16, 19 eggs. Okay, he passed me. Wow. That food I gave him really worked out. Or maybe he already had it. That's too bad. Yeah, he didn't need it. He had the worm already. Okay. Well, I mean, my, my game is pretty much done here. I just have to see how it plays out. There's no way it's better for me to do anything than just press egg a lot. And also there's the egg payoff at the end, which I'm... Am I in a good position to win it? Six, eight, 15, eight, 13, 16. So this guy would have to play another bird in his grasslands, or not this guy, this guy? And he did. No, not you. You're not competing for eggs here, I suspect. You laid eggs and you're out of food. I suspect you're just gonna keep jamming eggs forever just like I am. Which means you have six 11, 15, so... Oh right, my Canada Goose is also two more. So I think I can win on, on eggs, I can win the round, anyway. Or did I already count this? I don't remember. 8, 10, 16. I did. So I have 16, he has 15, and it would be really hard for him to get another, I think. 
I'm looking at the wrong guy again, aren't I? I can't keep him straight. Wait, maybe nobody has that space? I was looking at someone's wetland or something? Yeah, you only have six. I was looking at his wetlands. I see. Up here, he only has room for ten. Okay, cool. So I should win the round as well as getting to press egg a lot. This has not taken an unreasonably long amount of time. That's kind of nice. I have no idea if I'm winning. Bird feeder's almost empty. I, I really hope it stays that way, and it probably will. Everyone, I assume, is going to be jamming eggs a fair bit in this last round and not, like, trying to gain food to play more cards. I would know for sure if I saw how many cards were in their hand. Or, or this guy, I guess, might be doing some river or some wetlands stuff with his last few turns. Okay, you played a bird. You laid eggs. Okay. So this guy's just on the egg train, which is fine. You played this? Not clear why. Um... It is five points, but can't you do better with eggs? I guess not. Okay, you just have some food left over and some large birds to play. That's fine. Medium birds, anyway. So we're going to do this. Spend my non-seeds on it. Eventually, I think I'm spending one seed. Yeah. And just, like, it literally doesn't matter where I put them. There's nothing on my board or anyone else's that cares where they go, and I'm going to fill them all up anyway, right? Just double check, nobody else has anything that makes me care. Oh, this guy might get food from me, that's kind of cool for him, because I'm going to be hopefully hunting successfully many times. Yes? Yes? Hey, we got a point! And he got a food! I have to wait for him to gain the food now. Tuck a card. I if only I could. I can't tuck these. And they're they're this is worth 2 points anyway. I'd rather keep it even if it were legal to throw it away. Hopefully nobody else gains food ever again. That would be my dream. And it seems actually sort of likely. Who wants food in this last round, right? Maybe someone who hasn't yet met their bonus card objective? I'm pretty lopsided here. I just played... I, I, I spent zero food on my wetlands. Um... This guy's a little bit more balanced. He's 4-4-2, whereas I'm 5-4-1. And you're 3-3-4, three, three, even more balanced. But we each have exactly 10 birds at the moment. Is that likely to change? I mean, it could. This guy might get enough food. Oh, he just played another bird. Cool. Oh, no, that's include. I, I, I had already counted that one. Okay. Nice expensive bird, too. Um, he might get enough food from me if I hunt successfully enough times that he might want to play some big bird. If he happens... Oh no, I just realized! He took food out of the bird feeder and now I can't hunt successfully anymore, so he can't get any more food. We're both sad about that. Could it possibly make sense for me ever to gain food here? No. That'd be a, a disastrous blunder. I would lay two eggs, gain a point. That's much worse than, like, getting a shitload of points, which is what I can get down here. I think. Yeah, I still want to press eggs every time, and it's always worth at least six points. There's no way I'm doing better up here. I'm, I'm kind of mad about this guy's, um, whatever this is, turkey vulture. It ruined my hunting.
I don't know. You guys might as well fast forward to the end and see who won. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look at what the other people are up to. I assume this guy just laid eggs, right? It just took a while to resolve. You played a bird. You laid eggs. I'm laying eggs. Okay, there's all the eggs. Yes. Okay, no dice, so I will skip. Nothing to tuck, I skip again. This isn't ideal. I would like some of these powers to do something instead of not do something. How is it that I only have 10 eggs? I feel like I should have more. It's because of when I was counting whether I would run out of space, I A, had forgotten I was going to play this guy, and B, hadn't yet spent the eggs on these guys, I think. So we're going to get a total of nine more eggs. Okay, fair enough. I wonder if there's like a, a rating system for the matchmaking. And it, like, I don't think it shows you your rating. And also the matchmaking was insanely fast, which makes me think it was just like finding players who want to play at all. This guy played another bird in the forest. Wow. Really? Why would you spend a turn to gain just two points? You could gain three with eggs. And also you have this insane egg laying synergy. Oh, it's because this is another thing to put eggs on, maybe? Maybe, but he only has one more action. I, I mean, he's going to get a lot of points from his last egg action, but I feel like he could have done way better by taking two final egg actions. Okay. Well, you know, you can't, you can't force him to play the way that you would have played. Spend a seed here. Okay, there's all the eggs. We still have enough seeds to feed this guy twice. And we can't do any of the other actions. And indeed, we are going to be in the first here, just barely. Oh no, right. I forgot. I was counting this guy's river instead of his... Uh, yes, we're going to be in, in first by a fair bit. Because I can add one more and he can't really add anything. <laughs> this guy got to do a lot of tucking on this. Wow, that bird holds so many eggs. Good for him. What did you do? You laid eggs, finally. Okay, I think you should have done that last turn, too. Wait, what? Oh, that's only when played, that ability. I was like, that's insane if you get to when when activated. <laughs> um, but only when played. It's still good. Alright, so I can turn a, a, a food into an egg, but I'd rather turn it into two points. Don't skip. Just skip this part. Uh -huh. Um... All right, I completely filled up two habitats, amazing. Of course, one of them is pretty easy to fill. Yep. I'm kind of mad the bird feet are emptied out, but what can you do? Okay. Well, let's, let's look at the final scores. I have no idea, as I said, who's winning. Okay, makes sense. Green was playing a lot of birds. I did pretty well on end around gold, I think, yeah. And I think on eggs as well? My tucking is not as good as this guy, I think, though. Oh, it is! Congratulations, we win! I beat some humans. Great. Uh, were they all new players? Were, uh, were they playing well and I beat them? I have no idea. It's a mystery.
I mean, oh, this guy, yeah, this guy had way more eggs than I did. Jeez, 27. That's a lot. I didn't quite get the Canada Goose thing going as quickly as I wanted to. But I still think it was worth it to play... that last, um, these, these last two birds in here, I don't know, maybe not. This guy was worth six points to play, but it kind of, it made me have to gain food like this. I don't know. I think like I could have maybe gotten a few more points out of eggs if I had put this guy down more quickly. But I didn't have a lot more space for eggs. I could have pressed it like one more time, maybe two. Probably just one, because I wouldn't have had space for all these. Maybe zero. Yeah, one. Um, and I would have had more seeds, I think. But like each of these birds was worth like six points to me, and that was more than a turn. Well, it was the same amount as a turn doing this, I guess. Hmm. And I ended up spending a turn gathering food also to give me the seeds back. Which I might not have had to do. Oh, but I don't know. Ugh. It's a mystery. I don't I don't know. I think this was like a difficult decision in the end game, and I don't know if it was right. Um Oh, I I I played these in round three, actually. And as I recall, it was quite plausible that they would have gained me more end of round points. I don't think they ended up doing so, or maybe only one of them did, but even that is worth something. Because like, the other guy passed me anyway, and I think even if I had played neither of these, I would have tied this guy? I'm not sure. But, um, I don't know. What, uh, what to say about this game? Eggs are good. Canada Goose synergized with getting lots of food. Like, I, I spent a ton of seeds in the last two rounds, actually, right? Because that was the round I played this guy gaining more seeds and then played all of these. And I gained food once to gain even more seeds. I think I picked up only seeds from the feeder, and I definitely appreciate having made that decision. I thought it was overkill to take seven. It was not. If I could have had eight, I would have had another two points. Uh, so there you go. I am not only the champion of AI players, I am verifiably the best online player of Wingspan. Matchmaking found me the strongest players around is what I choose to believe. Um, and what did other people do? This guy had, as we saw, a cool like tucking engine that he got to use several times. Right? This drew him, this tucked away five cards, and this tucked away six. And he had a bunch of eggs down here as well, so that was his focus, clearly. He eventually did some egg stuff. Not a ton, but like four is still a significant commitment. It just came a bit later, I think. And not much in the way of food. This guy, I'm not sure what his focus was. I can't believe I went all game not realizing this was a one played ability. These, this ability made me mad, as I mentioned many times, but like, what can you do? It was clearly not right to take a break to eat some food. I don't think. No, it was costing me like four points. Well, maybe it would have been. That would have been interesting, actually. Because... No. It would have gained me two eggs, but it would have given everybody else one egg, so it's only netting one point. And a point here, that's two. And I would gain a seed. I would gain a ton of seeds, but nowhere to put them. So I'm, I'm down two points at this at this stage, right, having taken this action. I have another seed, but I don't have another turn to spend it, so it doesn't help in terms of how many points I get from clicking eggs. The only advantage would be that I might get points from this. Um, I would have to get two points just to break even out of 
three clicks. So if I were really desperate, I guess I could try it. But the thing is, if I did that, this guy would be taking food out of the bird feeder as well, and it would like stop activating pretty quickly. So I think it's definitely wrong to try to add, to try to reactivate my vulture or whatever it was. Owl, hawk, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, a little bit more Wingspan. I still don't think this will become a long-running uh, series on the channel, but uh, I don't know. Weirder things have happened, I guess. Uh, yeah, we'll save this one. Baby's first multiplayer game. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.